Okay, after white move rook to g3, the recording stops here because uh, the recording device ran out of battery. So we will continue after rook to g3, we have uh, rook to g8 by black, rook to e1 by white. And now look, it seems that white is ready to open up the file attacking black king. So we have knight to c8 by black. This is not a good move. Okay, knight on d6. This knight is doing a good job. It's slowing down white attempts to push the pawn so that white cannot simply open the f-file. And in case white push g-pawn or the d-pawn up, the knight can jump to f5 and the knight will be attacking the rook and the pawn. And there's nothing white can do to uh, attack the knight because it's, it is on a light square. The bishop is on dark square. And after d4, the knight can also jump to c4, attacking the bishop. And remember, the bishop is, I think, it is the strongest white piece uh, in this position. There's nothing black can do to capture or to attack the bishop. Uh, okay, here we have knight c8. After that, rook to f3. Now, white is threatening to open up the f-file so that the rook can attack the king. So we have e6, f5 anyways by white, and this is the deciding moment where the black can play for a draw or not. Okay, and but uh unfortunately, sadly, <laughs> black black makes the wrong move, black takes with g pawn, and after white re recapture, it's true that it seems that uh black finally got some activity, the rook can come in, give a check, but after rook check white king simply go up to b3 and now look there's nothing black can do and now it is white turn to attack black so look at the rooks it, uh it it got this discovered attack or discovered check on the king so after takes rook takes check there are four squares for the king to go black move the king to g8 white double the rook on f5 and Again, another bad move by black, rook to e7. So black is threatening to attack the rook, but this is a poor attempt by black. And this is bad because the knight, it cuts off the rook on d7 from defending the king. So here white simply bring the rook in, give a check, king to h7, rook to f7, another check, and after king to g6 here, uh, after move, 34 black resign. Why? Yeah, yeah, you spot the tactic. Skewer. The rook can skew skew the king. And after rook check, king to h5, rook can take black's rook for free. White will have three pieces against two. It is a completely winning for white. Okay, let's go back to the deciding moment. After black after white push pawn to uh f5. We have G pawn, white should capture with the E pawn, white recapture. So the difference now is that black doesn't have to take, black can push the pawn up. After white take, pawn takes, this rook cannot attack the king. The fight is not open for the rook. That's the difference. Uh, Still, white still have the advantage. Uh, Black, black can play for a draw. Uh, but it will be very difficult for black to play for a draw only if black make every best move okay let's say white move rook to h1 there's nothing black can do to stop the rook from coming to here to uh, h7 give a check and look at black pieces the knight is doing nothing this rook should stay here to protect the pawn the past pawn this rook is doing nothing. It can move to e7 to attack the bishop. But after d4, I think there's nothing black can do. Okay, more importantly, look at white's king. Completely safe. There's nothing black can do to attack the king. Okay, so uh, if you do like the video, do like and subscribe. Any comment, do comment down below.